Good morning, folks. We've got news on Mars, major hail, a must-know weather pattern, and a huge leap towards a magnetic universe realization in the mainstream. But let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. Finding the last 24 hours on our star, we are still in a no-sunspot situation, no solar flares are present, another day without eruptions. And when we come to the solar wind, we can see the dropout in plasma speed, the purple line, leaving Earth's magnetic field much calmer than it was yesterday. It is unlikely to be all we'll see from that southern coronal hole, however, as we can see strong portions at the trailing side. They are beginning to have their IMF and kinetic alpha and waves affect Earth now and will have their solar wind arrive here later in the week. Up next, let's jump out to Mars and take a trip into the past. Excellent story out of Caltech on how volcanoes may have helped sustain the early oceans on the red planet and even helped deform the coastlines to what we see today. Link is below, and the same with this universe simulation. Allow me to read a quote from the article. The researchers reworked the simulation to include a more precise accounting for magnetic fields, improving the simulation's accuracy. Quote, Magnetic fields are interesting for a variety of reasons, says Professor Springell. The magnetic pressure exerted on cosmic gas can occasionally be equal to thermal temperature pressure, meaning that if you neglect this, you will miss these effects and ultimately compromise your results. That sounds like a positive direction to me. Let's take a moment to be thankful we don't have worse news out of Texas from the baseball-sized hail between this and the tornadoes in the east, including those that dropped in Alabama. That was a big storm that ran through the country last night. Lastly, folks, excellent article in The Guardian about sudden stratospheric warming events. It is an excellently correlated event with solar activity and is responsible for these major late winter storms hitting Russia, Europe, and the U.S. Northeast. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and both east and west coast of the USA better be paying attention. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.